It's fake news. One time, one time, one time. Stop. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to my channel. How are y'all doing this morning? I'm here to do a cleaning video today for y'all. Even though my living room is not junky or not that messy at all, I just got to do a lot of wiping down in here because I see a lot of dust on these tables. I need to mop in here. I also need to vacuum off this rug. And I'll probably go up in my dining room, vacuum the rug, wipe off the table and stuff like that, wipe off the counters and stuff in my kitchen and mop in there and mop in my hallway. So, we go ahead and get started for y'all. As y'all can see, I just got my little self off work. So I do got on my work clothes, but I said I was gonna get off and clean up a little bit before I get ready to take a bath and lay down. So that's what I'm about to do. So you guys stay tuned and watch me work, okay?
quick little tip that I had already knew about somebody mentioned it to me but I kind of like knew this already for you to keep spiders stuff like that away and out of your home you can take you a spray bottle and put a little bit of I'm gonna say like a half a half a cup of water in your spray bottle add you like you can add however many drops you want to of peppermint oil in the water and you can add just a little bit of vinegar and you shake it up and you spray it like around your baseboards in your in your house like around your walls you can spray it in your windows and it will definitely keep spiders out of your home yes and i know somebody you know gave me some tips or whatever letting me know that but i had like already knew that so i'm just letting y'all know whoever did not know that you can make this little solution and this will keep all the spiders out of y'all house okay so back to the video
right, my babies, I'm going to take a little break and I'm going to talk to y'all for a minute before I start sweeping and mopping out my kitchen. It's going to be like the last thing that I'm going to do. Um, Let me put this thing here back on top of my microwave right quick. But anyway, I have somebody that I need to shot out right quick that I forgot all about because... Normally when people like send me stuff on my email, I don't always check my email like right away. I'd be like so late checking my email and stuff. So if anybody emailed me and I reply like super late, y'all know that I have not checked my email. I be busy. I be doing a whole lot of other extra stuff and I don't be thinking about no email, but I'm so sorry that I got back to you, Andrea, Miss Andrea. So late, and um, she asked me to shout her out, you guys, because her channel is, I'm just going to say, she has 1,000 subscribers, and she wanted to go past the 1,000 subscriber, you know, mark, and y'all know me, I don't mind helping nobody, I don't mind, you know, shouting out anybody because I know it's hard trying to get to where you're trying to get to on YouTube and when you want people to actually come to your channel and watch and support and stuff like that especially when you're just hopping aboard on YouTube and you're just trying to get yourself out there and um you know you just want people to stop by and show some love so um, I haven't been knowing this young lady very long, but when I did get to know her and I subscribed to her channel, absolutely love her channel, y'all. She basically does some things that I like to see. She, um, I wrote down some stuff because there's some stuff that she wanted me to share with y'all about her channel and what she does, which she does collaborations, tablescapes. And I know a lot of my subscribers that watch me, they like, uh watching people decorate their tablescape and stuff like that she does thrifting i know i got a couple of people that like to know see thrifting and stuff like that um she does cooking videos she does um she does diys and she does mukbangs she likes to decorate and stuff like that and um Yeah, and a lot of more other stuff like going to the Goodwill and sharing her hauls and stuff like that. Y'all know I like to see stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in watching a couple of her videos and getting to know Miss Andrea, her YouTube channel name is Andrea Mason, The Queen's Court, or it could just be The Queen's Court, but I'll put her uh, link to her channel down below this video you guys can click the link you can go over and tell her that miss candy Pooh sent y'all over there and y'all make sure y'all support and subscribe and y'all won't be disappointed because i just love her personality i like when she come on her channel she's more you know like me like to talk to y'all and stuff and like to become closer to her youtube fam and stuff like that and um and yeah, she's a really nice lady, y'all. I just love her channel because I just like the stuff that she shows on her channel. It's just very relaxing and, you know, I like how she conversates and stuff with her subscribers. So yeah, y'all just make sure y'all go over there and try to make her subscribers go up past the thousand mark. Yes. And I also want to thank a couple of y'all that was telling me you know just giving me tips on stuff because i do take heed to a lot of good tips that y'all leave up under my videos one of the tips that a lot of y'all mentioned was for me to put my meat in ziploc bags which is a awesome great idea now to be honest with y'all like years and years ago i saw my mom actually getting grocery sacks you know, like the grocery bags and putting her ground beef meat in it. She'll put pork chop meat in it. She'll put whatever meat she want in it and separate it and put it in her freezer. And I got that from her. Now, lately that I have been going over to my mom's house, she has been using those little small Ziploc bags. And I didn't think nothing of it because I was just like, 
maybe she switched up or something like that but i did see where she's actually using the ziploc bags and she's using like grocery bags as well so for now on i'm going to switch it up when i get ready to you know separate my meat and stuff like that i will be using ziploc bags because they do sound a little bit more better and cleaner um and it'll be a little bit more neater as well so thank you ladies for that tip also um yeah like i was talking to y'all in the cleaning process of me doing my living room i know somebody mentioned for me to use peppermint oil and water and spray you know my house for spiders and stuff like that i thank you for letting me know that but i had already knew that but you know just like i told y'all if y'all did not know that a lot of y'all can do that and it will keep spiders and stuff from coming in from crawling in your house and um i specifically put a little bit of vinegar and peppermint oil in my water i know the young lady that was mentioning it to me she just said put peppermint and water but that vinegar also will kill you know the spiders because they don't like the way vinegar smells not even peppermint so when you mix in both of those two together it's like you're not gonna see no spider child at all so yeah that's another quick tip that i wanted to share with y'all also um i got one more thing oh i want to thank y'all for letting me know about the shredded steak meat that i was looking for so i'm definitely gonna go to sam's to pick some of that meat up if i don't see any at sam's which i'm thinking i am gonna see it at sam's i'll just pick up um i'll go back to walmart and look for some for some i did not want that steakums meat though because i did know about that somebody did tell me about that meat and that it is like you don't get much in the box and it's very thin so you'll have to buy like two boxes and i didn't want to do that i actually wanted to buy like a like a big box of steak you know meat or whatever so you know, me and my family can at least get seconds or whatever if they if they want another sandwich instead of me buying those little boxes that got that look thin cut meat in it and you don't get enough. I really didn't want to spend my money on that. So I do prefer to buy something that's gonna be worth my money and also enough in the box, if y'all understand what I'm saying. That's what I'm looking for. Something like in the bulk or something like that. But I do appreciate and thank y'all that let me know about this segment and where to go, you know, to purchase it and go to get it. So, oh, I got one more thing, y'all. I know somebody asked me what unit this was on my last video. This is, um, let me see that I write it down. This is the Newborn Free Magic Lace Curve Part 174. I did do a review on her, like maybe it was two years ago maybe three years ago i don't know but i did do a review on her and she did not look like this y'all i actually cut her because she was like a um symmetrical bob like both sides were long like too long and i just cut the sides off because it was just too much in my face and up under my chin so girl i be wearing this as a work wig so normally when y'all see me going to work y'all see me with this bob on right here because this is just my everyday work unit that i just throw on and go baby doll so yes that's what this unit is right here so if y'all ever watch my wig video sharing this wig it is not gonna look like this it's a little bit longer i cut it and I wanted it to be short so that I can just throw this on and just go. Yes. But it's a pretty natural. It looks very natural. And that's the reason why I like it. It don't shed or nothing like that. So, yeah, child. This is my everyday work unit that I do throw on. Every day I go to work just about. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Other than that, I'm going to finish cleaning up my kitchen, which is not really too much or anything to do up in here i gotta sweep the floor and mop in here and i'm gonna clean off my other counter because i got some stuff over there i need to put up and clean up and um um i don't have to wipe my refrigerator down because i had already did that like yesterday and now i'll just be wiping it down again so what i am gonna do is wipe this counter off over here on this side because i got stuff over here 
and I'm gonna sweep and mop my kitchen up and that's gonna be the end of this video y'all so I'm about to get ready to finish up and I will talk to you guys a little bit later I don't think I'm coming back over here I'm just gonna end the video once I get through cleaning up so don't forget to turn y'all notification bells on and go over and support Miss Mason, the Queen Court. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but her link will be in the description box. So make sure you guys go over and let her know that I sent y'all over there. Other than that, I'm about to get started and uh, I will talk to you babies a little bit later. Love y'all.